Okay, so now I'm going to do the inscribed hexagon. And um, by nature of being inscribed, we're going to start with a point P and we're going to use a circle. So we'll start with P and I will grab my compass and I will put uh, the pointy end on the center and I'll stretch it out just a little bit, not too far, because as you know, if you uh, make it too big or too small, it's going to make your construction a little difficult. So um, just find the right length and then go ahead and do a circle. Okay. Now the good news is the inscribed hexagon <coughs> starts off very much like the inscribed triangle. So I'm going to take a diameter line, a vertical diameter line, and remember that diameter just means cord that goes from one point on the circle to the other, including the center, okay? So we're just gonna draw a segment, and I wanna try to keep it as vertical as possible, and I'm just gonna go straight through the center, <laughs> sort of, uh, with my diameter line, okay? Mm. A little bit more. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm moving it over. <laughs> it just keeps going back. There! Ta-da! Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is a, is a small arc. And I'm going to put the point on this intersection from the diameter. And then I'm going to put the pencil on the center point. So this distance right here would be equivalent to what? Not a diameter, but a radius. Very good, very good. And I just want to do this arc till it intersects the circle on either side. But unlike the triangle, I'm going to repeat the action at the top intersection as well. So again, double checking that I've got everything the same width because that, you know, the I want to affix this um setting and then it should look something like that okay now i have created one two three four five six points okay so the next thing i will do is connect all six points Okay. Now remember that so far the lines that we have drawn or and or constructed are just construction lines. So they should be very light and thin. The lines that we are about to draw are going to be the, the sides of the actual hexagon and they need to be just a bit darker and more defined. You now have an inscribed hexagon. Go back and measure each of the segments or sides of your hexagon to ensure that they're all the same length. 